Make sure everything's good. Oh, that's it. actually that's right. Do we not go through? There we go. There we go. We're just gonna chill for a little bit, let people hop in, see a lot of people come hang out, put some music on in the background. I think we're just gonna listen to OP music on in the background. Ah, I don't want to hear my own voice. Please, thank you. Thank you. I guess we could just put this right here, huh? So I'm not like facing the wrong way. I should put chat here too. I should put chat here too. I feel bad because I haven't streamed in almost a month now. I took a break mostly because because uh, I got caught up with the YouTube stuff. I wanted to get my YouTube channel back up and running. And, uh, yeah, and now, I don't know if we're back permanently, but we're just gonna stream a little bit and see how things go. How's down, my player? I know, right? I'm finally alive. Well, sort of. D -d -def define alive. I am back for at least a little bit for right now. We're just, I feel like we had to do a Valentine's Day stream because I feel like it's almost a, tradi a tradition around here. It's to do a singles person's day stream. So that is what we are doing today. We're just enjoying being single. And by enjoying being single, I mean just daydreaming about the thoughts of how cheap chocolate's gonna be tomorrow when I go grocery shopping and how much chocolate I'm gonna buy to make up for the fact that I'm a fat, lonely weep. <laughs> the big Yo. mate of Twitch returns. Hey, what's up? Oh, we got the Jeffs here too, let's go. We brought both of the Jeffs. Nani, what's up, Nani? Matt, your mic is sounding a little weird. On the stream or here? In On here. here. Um, that's weird. It should be sounding yeah, weird. It sounds like a techno. A techno? Yeah, it's all glitchy. How's this? Better. better. A lot better. Okay, it was just, it was just, I changed literally nothing. I just left and re re came back in. So, yeah, we're just chilling tonight. I mean, I was I was gonna do a drinking stream originally, uh, but I drank so much while on my trip to Dallas that I was like, no, I don't want to. Yo, thank you, Jeff, who's already in the call for the resub. Loxus, oh, Loxus, you've returned. But to say the mic should be fine for this because I'm using a separate mic for the actual stream. Bay's internet went out, so now I'm just chilling. Oh my God, Nani, are you are you being alone on Valentine's Day? Hey, Kamito. Oh, is that old Kamito? Is that is that the Kamito with two Ks? He just changed his name. Not sure. Genshin. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna do Genshin today. We're just vibing. Oh my God, Jeffrey. I am so sorry about that pity. I just saw that. Yeah. What, yeah. What, oh my God. It's not even the good one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh. The final roll on my helmet was for defense. Feels bad. Well, welcome what? back, Kamito. Thank you for for vibing with us. I mean, technically, it hasn't been a month since I streamed, because I, I was technically on stream on Hiding's channel, like, a week or two ago. Thank you, the other Jeffrey, for for the, the, sub, the subscriber for six months. What a hero. Yeah. Speaking of which, I need now that I actually have Amazon Prime, I need to make sure I sub to like Evan or somebody, because that's kind of a waste of money. If Just sub to yourself, easy. <laughs> Man, I, I, don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I mean, technically, that's not a that's not a bad game plan. Because what is it? It's like ten bucks a month. So I'm just getting five of it back every month. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, uh, the, that's the big brain play, huh? And 
Yeah. So like, uh, so you have your Amazon Prime through your dad, or no? I just I just got Amazon Prime myself the other day. Oh, dude, because uh, you can you can enable Prime Family. You can make another Amazon account. It's up to yourself with that. Oh my! Can I just can I just get my full <laughs> Amazon money back if I just lease up to myself on two separate uh... accounts? That would be the funniest shit ever, actually. What do you mean funniest shit ever? That means like a, that sounds like an actual idea, like an actually good idea. <laughs> I like to use the Prime sub on one account per Prime per Prime Access account. Ah, uh, oh well. So I only I only get half off on my Prime then, technically. Yeah. I need I need to Still, half off is cool. still better than nothing. I'm free to play. I'm oh, trying to get D Diona because Chong Yum is my main DPS, and I have. Hit pity five times. Got three weapons in Beto, and oh my god, I'm so sorry. That's rough. Why do we sound so loud in comparison to Matt over his stream? Here, I'll, I'll lower you guys a bit. Yeah, you guys are a little loud. I just I wasn't paying attention to the levels. Uh, yeah. There you go. You guys should be about right now. Yeah. Sorry about that, cool guy. Uh, that's rough. Diana's pretty good. Diana's would be Diana's a good combo with with Chong Yun because then you can get the the ice proc. But that's that's Genshin stuff. We're just chilling. Wait, wait, why is... Oh, he is good, though. Yeah, she's good. Why is other Jeff in here? He has a girlfriend. We don't have we don't have girlfriends. At least Jeffrey and I. Makes sense. It's on Singles Awareness Whoa. Day. I mean, I, I still have something. It's just... Uh... Yeah, you don't have a girlfriend, though, okay? You don't have to get anybody a Valentine, all right? <laughs> there's, there's difference. You have no emotional attachment. I think that's the point of Valentine's Day. It's not about getting action. <laughs> it's about having emotional attachment. There's a very big difference. Uh -huh. I always bring my girlfriend into here. There we go. I was about to say. We could just go, I was like, as, you know, because at that same point, I was like, oh, I could just go get a hooker and call it good for Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> got, got Valentine's Day covered, guy. I got, guys, I got me a hooker. <laughs> Wait, this is not an 18 plus stream. I should be saying this stuff, but who cares? I haven't streamed in a bit. My so chill. Wait, why? Yo, Albatross has a girlfriend. That's, that's amazing. I'm jealous. Can I just ban everyone out of spite? No, Storm, you cannot ban everybody out of spite. No, not Singles Awareness Day. Uh, Palentine's Day? Oh, pa like pal. Okay, I was trying to figure that out. Uh, cool. What should we call it? Storm's just kind of like that. He's al he's always a little, little chaos. A little ball of chaos in our group. He was constantly insulting me. But I keep him around because he keeps me in check. That's the only reason I keep Storm. Otherwise, I would ban his ass in a heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love you, Storm. I love you, Storm. I don't mean that. Speaking of which, repping the the pink heart today. I feel like I feel like today's like. He does mean it. <laughs> I, do, I feel like today's the perfect day for the pink heart. Hey, Maven, what's up? Although I guess technically I was literally just talking to you a minute ago. But welcome to the stream. I feel like I feel like we're just having a Discord call. That's all this is again. But it's fine. With some extras. With some extras, we got a few Speaking extra of people. Speaking that, um, anybody who is not currently in the Discord, you are welcome to join, and it's exclamation mark Discord, right? I think so. Yeah. Let me see. Yep. How many? There you go. Have we had any new people join today? No, we haven't. I mean, that's surprise. It's not too surprising. Well, I forgot to put the. We we have one person that joined today. Oh which yeah. Which is, yeah. Which, but that's the person we're already acquainted with. Yeah, exactly. This is why I'm not watching any romance anime in this season. There's a lot of good romance, man. Horiyama's pretty good. You you're kind of missing out, Kamito. I'm gonna be, I can be real with you, man. Love Joy Plus. When you see this, I love you from Nani. <laughs> Oh, they're all in chat together. Let me see. I'm kind of curious. What am I watching this season? Don't mind me as I go to a completely legal website where I have it all bookmarked. Fruit, back se fruit, uh, fruit Basket Season 3 hype. I haven't... I haven't gotten through Season 1 yet. I tried. I could, uh, well, the new one, at least. Watching Hori Mia. Yeah, Hori, Hori, well, Hori, I, yeah, Hori, Mia, is that what it's supposed to pronounce? Someone, someone explained to me how it's pronounced. Oh, yes, uh, Hiding did. And I just don't know. He, he had a really good explanation for it, because it's, it's their names together, right? Oh, yeah, I'm watching this show, which is really good. What's it called? Is there an English name for it? 
Jaku Chara Tamazaki Kun. It's like a it's like a it's an anti neat show where the whole premise of the show is the guy's becoming less and less of a neat because he's got a friend who's like, yo, you gotta like actually stop being a fucking loser. I don't know if any of you guys have heard of this show, but um, we've also been watching this call a show called uh, Redo Healer. <laughs> <laughs> Someone asked me earlier, like, why are you still watching that show? Like, why have you not dropped it? Why are you current with that show? And I had to explain to them that it's it's a thing I do in Discord. We all get together and watch Redo of Healer uncensored, uh, and then we go back and we watch it, the, just the censored parts to see the difference. It is, it is. Yeah, it's the biggest memes ever. All right, bye, cool guy. We'll see you soon, man. Sorry, sorry to see you leave cool so guy. soon. You're a cool guy, cool guy. We miss you. And invite me next time. Come join the Discord. It is it is open to everybody. You know what I really need? I realize I need a hair light. Now that I can see, now that I uh, by the way, I bought a brand new monitor. It looks like ridiculously good, and now I can see myself better. And I'm realizing I don't have a hair like a good hair light for myself. So I might need to yep. do that one of these days, like a, a backlight to, to, to like cut me out of the background, especially right now, because for some separation. Yeah, because yeah. one of the problems I'm having right now is that uh, the grain's really high for some reason. Ah, I feel like fucking fixing it right now. I, I didn't. Jeff, yeah. I haven't gone through and like actually done the settings right because I use the camera and it's all not reset yet. But this anyway, generic. Is there a specific way to watch the uncensored version? Yes, of course there is. There's plenty of websites that have it. Sorry, what were you saying, Jeff? Wait, were you adding my girlfriend to the chat? <laughs> that's a that's a Jeff Jeffery. That's Jeffery question. Oh no. I just kind of want to keep the chat open, like at least one person open for it. So if like one of the patrons want to join, they can. Well, this is the, the live stream chat, so I think. Uh, at least the, they should be able to join this. At least the uh, I think no. like ten dollar. No, it should be ten dollar plus patrons should be allowed to join this. I think. Uh, yeah, permissions. All mites are allowed. Yeah. Okay. And Bakugos are allowed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's yeah. ten the ten ten dollar ten dollar plus patrons are allowed to join. Yeah. Uh. Hey, Eden, what's up, bro? So what's up, anime fat cock? I love you, bro. What's up? Yo. Hiding place is chill. I got to hang out there too. Now, now I know why you guys hung out there for a bit. We are just vibing. We're just kind of enjoying the uh, doing nothing for Valentine's Day because none of us are in relationships, unfortunately. Uh, I slept today, and uh, I watched some anime, Naruto Shippuden to be specific, and then uh, nothing else. I, I literally did nothing today. See, see, my thing is tomorrow I'm going to buy lots of chocolates, which is what I'm looking forward to the most, to be t entirely honest with you guys. Yeah, tomorrow's the real holiday, guys. It's a holiday for us. Oh, wow, we have 13 people viewing? What the hell? I, haven't, I love how I haven't streamed in a month and we still have 13 people. That's kind of ridiculous. Well, welcome everybody. I think that Manime Matt guy needs to stream more often, though. I, I'm going to try. Oh, the problem was, is that, like I said, I was trying to re like fix my YouTube channel and get it back up and running because the YouTube channel was a little bit meh, sketchy for a bit there. So I had to bring in a manager, and we had to start doing a bunch of stuff, and that ate up basically all my streaming time. So hopefully soon I'll start having a little bit more time to stream, but like all the videos are getting way more researched, uh, way more time in pre-production, and a lot more like workshopping than what I used to do, which is great because that I mean the channel's doing significantly better now. Like legit, I've had this guy on for a month, and he's. He's brought us from like 400 subs a month, which was while I was averaging, well, actually like 300 actually, to like this month you're already over a thousand plus new subs. So like, he knows what he's doing. So I was like, all right, that's that's kind of the thing. It changed to 17, oh then 15. Well, I'm surprised Twitter didn't explode about redo of healer. 
Or maybe it's being covered by other anime? What do you mean? Pretty sure it's because it doesn't have that much attention or that much of a following on it right now, and because of that, they're just like, let's ignore it since n and not give it any attention rather than actually bring any sort of attention to it. Yeah, well, I think... I, I shouldn't be saying this on a stream, making an opinion in general on this on a stream without, like, having a coherent thought. Like, I, I this is my my unbroken down, so I may back up on this. I don't 100% believe with this. I think the point is that you know, the reason why Goblin Slayer got so much shit was just, like, you know, there were good characters and there were bad characters, and the, the sex scenes were, like, a bit, like, weirdly sexualized and, like, almost put in a positive light. And that's why people were, like, that's fucked up. Whereas this one, it's more so a case of, like, okay, obviously what he's doing is really fucked up, and that's the show isn't trying to hide that. But he's also not, like, like doing it to some innocent girl who just had was in the wrong place at the wrong time, you know. Uh, she, you know, she had, I don't want to say the R word, but she had him taken care of first, and then she, then he came back and kind of got revenge on her, which is, I guess, maybe not more acceptable, but, like, I guess it's a bit l more palatable in its own, like, I mean, fucked up way. I don't know if that's a good way to put it, but yeah. It feels like with Goblin Slayer and Shield Hero, both of them were getting a lot of attention by a lot of people real fast and got picked up really well by a lot of people, and that's probably what caused them to get attacked right away. This one's not getting picked up by as many people at all in comparison well, to those. Well, I mean, those and the people who are picking it up are more attacked. plot. <laughs> <laughs> they, they did have more plot than <laughs> you know just yeah. a little that's the other big complaint I have that's 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 the reason I haven't really covered redo of hero redo, redo of healer is because it is I mean it's hentai man it really is just hentai like it has plot just not the kind of plot that you can actually write about yeah it's like inter, like interspecies <laughs> reviewers it was like comedy satire like the sex scenes were there for like to be like pushing the limits of like, haha, let's see how far we can get away with this. Whereas redo of healer, it's like, oh, do you like, do you like getting off to like revenge rape shit? Like, boy, do we got something for you? And that's kind of that's kind of the idea behind it. And you know, not my kink. Hashtag not my kink. But you know, I ain't gonna kink shame other people for that kind of stuff because that's, I mean, at the end of the day, it's all animated and it's not like anyone's actually getting hurt. Oh my god, you did it, Edward? Yo, congrats. Everybody, congrats, Edward, on getting to platinum. Yo, I'm so oh, jealous. Wow. Yo, that shit's so hard. Congrats, dude. I couldn't get... To, I mean, he got to platinum super early. Holy crap. Platinum. Major congrats. Platinum in League. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's like stage four cancer right there. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's really... Imp well, that shit's hard, but I guess... Well, this season, it's a lot easier to, to get there, but the fact that he got there so early is really impressive because I am like... I'm still silver one. I could probably get into gold if I really tried, but like, ugh. <laughs> Won all three of my promos in a row. Last game made the enemy forfeit at 15. Good shit, Edward. Now you gotta carry me to plat. That's, you're required to do this <laughs> legally. Plot as in story or plot in a different way. Uh, the show has very little plot as in story, but lots of plot in the other way. It is, it is, it is literally just porn, Kamito. I, I'm just gonna be real with you, bro. It's just hentai. I don't know why they they like they're trying to frame it as anime because it's definitely not. I mean, every not... season for the past like year or two now, they've been doing that. They've been releasing some that's basically hentai as anime. I'm gonna disagree. Throw it on my anime list. I'm gonna disagree like... with that because here's the thing. I think most of these shows aren't like that bad. Like. Like, this one's portrayed for you to get off to. Like, that's a, that's the difference to me. Like, it Here's is built for you to get off to. And that's... This one still has more plot than Cheap Magician in another world with my smartphone. <laughs> okay. We're okay. really but, low, but, huh? but, wait, no, I'm not talking about plot. I'm talking about intent. That's what I always say, man. Like, the difference this between anime bad. and hentai is intent. Okay? Tentacles and Witches had... A, okay plot like there was plot there in tentacles and witches okay guys and that was a straight up hentai like obviously it was it was classified as a hentai frankly it had more plot than this show did and i think less sex scenes which is impressive so you have a topic say that you were all like episodes that were just completely sex well, yeah there's oh, only episode three was nearly completely sex 
Uh, but like episode one only had one sex scene in it. No, it had two sex scenes where they were back to back at the very end of the episode. So like this there's like 18 minutes of plot and then like four minutes of sex episode one. Like Matt, you could do a video on Redo of Healer explaining why it shouldn't be considered anime and go through it bit by bit as to where as to where it's bad, why it shouldn't be considered an anime and all that, and just break it down. That could be a video. I I no, actually just, just, I looked into that. Just do a video about like what the perfect ratio for uh, sex to plot is for anime. Because <laughs> it's not that. <laughs> it's definitely not that. <laughs> So no, I think the censorship could be looked into as a plot point for a video. Censorship <laughs> in the in redo of healer is definitely done in a bad light. Oh, the censorship yeah, is dog shit. That's why we laugh at it. Oh. I actually finished binge watching interspecies reviewers. Okay, yeah, seven out of ten. I get that Kami toe. It's like, I mean, look, interspecies reviewers is funny, and I like the thing, the, the thought the process that it was like it's like really pushing the boundaries of like, ooh, is this hentai? Is it anime? Like that's kind of the the whole like shtick of the show but i mean other than that it's but it is so good cool. comedy it's it, good comedy. it really is genuinely good comedy it's funny it's yeah. still need to finish it i mean it's good <laughs> but not like great like i'm not gonna sit here and be like oh it's the most amazing anime ever like it's just no. like it's just it's it's <laughs> Seven out of ten. Die. Seven out of ten. Maybe I would even if you give it a six out of ten. I think I still would have agreed with you. Like it's just like yeah, it's about there. And this redo of Healer is like a fucking five out of ten. There's like, like I love that in the most recent episode there was that scene where I was like, oh wait, they're starting to get to the plot, starting to have an interesting character development. Like oh, this is interesting. And then he fucks her. And it's like no, why? <laughs> This is such a hentai. I was like, oh, I'm kind of getting interested. Like, well, I guess I have to give you my virginity now. I'm like, what? Where? Where did? I mean, where did it get to that he point? Did use an aphrodisiac. Yeah, though. he used an aphrodisiac. So, I, I, I mean, of I get it. Aphrodisiacs. Do you? Are you guys watching a yeah, job with new episode? episode? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, no, yeah, I haven't watched yeah. the new episode. Don't. No spoilers, uh, boys. I have not right. seen the new episode right. of Jobless Reincarnate. I'm going to probably watch it once this stream's over. I can promise you that much. Okay. Shit's right, so, so good. The shit out of it for Matt? I will. I will kill you. I will end oh, the stream yes. right now. <laughs> Don't think I won't do it, boys. We won't even raid anybody. Uh, we'll be like stream over. Kerosene. It is worth watching. It's a real. It's actually really good for the genre it is. Uh, well, so, good. It's it. It is a Harlem anime, and Harlem. Harlem. <laughs> And um, it actually has a lot of character depth. Like, they actually introduce the characters and do multiple episodes with actual character growth, which is not something most anime in the genre do. Yeah. What's up, Polius? Welcome to the stream. I think it's about to take a bad turn with the anime. It actually doesn't. It actually continues to be going down the right path it's just it's it's going on the line of there's stuff that's like oh god oh god they if they go one way with this it'll be really bad and i can see it happening because so many other animes go down that path but then it just surprises me and doesn't go down that path a lot of the time yeah it's it's a really good show genuinely like just i mean not just from an isekai standpoint but from an anime standpoint in general jobless reincarnate is fantastic I, it's one of the few shows where like when i watch it I check like the uh, the bar to see how far along in the episode we are because I don't want it to end. Like it's it's just one of those shows that's that good for me. Like I'm just I get so invested in it. I highly yeah, recommend it. I don't it. check the bar and I'm just like, wait, it's over. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's one of those shows. Makoshi, yeah, Makoshi Tenson is the is the other name. Yeah, from what I've heard, it was actually originally one of the first like isekai, like like isekai that set those genres in standard standards because apparently because the person because i'm planning on doing one a video on the show next week i was gonna do one on on the show this week but i didn't have the time and i wanted to do like proper research but from what i've i've picked up on it looks like this show actually kind of founded the isekai genre and then sword art online took a lot of inspiration from this show and then popularized it so i kind of want to do a video on like Miko, like this show, and just talk about how good it is, and 
and talk about how Sword Art Online kind of low-key fucked it. <laughs> like, kind of, kind of ruined it slightly. Just a wee bit. But other than that, you know, fantastic. Spicy. Yo, I love this new monitor, by the way. I don't know if you, you guys can't see this, the new monitor I have, but it is like... It is very large. I'm very, like, pretty in depth. I'm not used to it looking this pretty. Yeah, I, I know. I, I know, Matt. You to, like them large. I love them large, and I love them when they look like me. So I'm just seeing a giant like screen of muscly, my face. You know? Thin and muscly? Yeah. Actually, I do. You know? <laughs> Shouldn't talk about my personal taste on stream, okay? Well, it's your personal taste in the computer, though. Oh, true, true, true. You want, yeah. the, you want the computer to have that muscle so it can give you the nice uh, hertz rates on the refresh stuff, you know? That's it. Oh, yeah, this you one's like, this one's a higher hertz rate than I'm used to. I haven't even... I mean, I can't really tell the difference, though. My eyesight already, is already trash. It doesn't matter. Yeah. See, Holius can see it somehow. I don't know how, but... Maybe he's, like, behind me somewhere. But, yeah, today we are just enjoying single singles awareness day which is our, our, our bro and tines day although nani already left to be with her boyfriend she ditched us so quick quick it was funny yeah it's okay I'll, I'll i'll be ditching you guys at a point to go hang out with my girlfriend so <laughs> wow looks behind him yeah. to make sure holiest is in there yeah. big sad oh kerosene we haven't heard from you in a bit how you been do you have a date for, for Valentine's? Oh, I never texted that girl back. <laughs> of course you didn't. Me, why don't I ever have a date or a girlfriend? Girl texts me, I'm a fucking ghost. <laughs> I don't know why they keep ignoring me when I ignore them first. Busy, I had a date with my work You should just be like, today. hey, check out my Twitch channel. I'm check streaming. Out my <laughs> let me see. Let's say, let me pull yes, get on Tinder just here, to get people here. to watch your Twitch. I want to say, let's let's go on Tinder real quick. Let's see how many how many potential uh, likes you have. Seven. Okay, that's not bad. How let's many see. Potential access do you have? <laughs> a lot more than that. <laughs> yo, yo, this is this is the problem I'm having, man. Like these people are like, uh, so this girl I was messaging, she just like fucking keeps sending me like really flat remarks back. So I was like, oh, fair enough, you know, you doing anything, blah, 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 blah. So she, like, had Star Wars references. I was like, I've never seen any Star Wars references. And she's like, you should watch Star Wars. Okay. That's that's not a good joke, honey. Uh, I don't know. It's just, like, it's supposed to be, like, I throw I throw the ball and give you an idea to, to make a joke back. And then she's supposed to say something back. And then these girls, these girls don't know how to flirt. I mean, I don't know how to flirt either, so I don't fucking, I don't fucking deserve to talk. She got a point. Yeah, I know. See, my plan was she was going to say something like that, and my response was going to be, well, maybe you should come over and you can show me the movies. Smooth, right? Smooth. Then if she said yes, I would ghost her. Because, fuck that. I'd rather watch the Lord of the Rings movies with you, Matt. I've seen the Lord of the Rings movies, though. I have not. Yes, but the response is we should watch Star Wars together. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. I did that recently, but with Harry Potter. Yo. Here, one, one second, one second. It's, how long has it been since she fucking sent me that message? Let's see. Let me make sure this hasn't been too long. Uh, Saturday at 7 p.m. So it's been about 24 hours since she sent me that message. <laughs> well, okay, chat, help me out here. What, what should I send her? Something, uh, should I just send her what Kerosene said? Like. Under your Twitch link. What's up? Just send her your Twitch link. Just send her my Twitch link? No. You really want to know if the relationship will work? Send her your YouTube link. <laughs> send her the YouTube link and be like, don't forget to like, uh, subscribe, <laughs> and... She's, uh, okay, so her last message was, well, sir, you got to get on them for, like, watching, because I had said something about Star Wars movies. Sounds dull. Shit, I have more game than f girl f flirting with Matt. Thank you. 
Let's see. That I feel like I have a better chance of getting with Matt than that girl does. <laughs> Yo, man, are you sure you're not Loxus in disguise? Yo, we're, Loxus was here at the very beginning of the stream. Did he vanish? We miss you, Loxus. I'm just gonna sit there. Hey, maybe we should watch the Star Wars movies together. Oh, shit. Ask her for anything else she thinks you should get on. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna hit her with this one because I feel like I feel like this is the kind of message where she either un, unmatches me or just ghosts me back. So we'll we'll hit her with that. Which if she ghosts me back, she absolutely just has the right to do that because I. This is like the third day in a row I've like waited 24 hours plus to respond to her. I, 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 uh... You could always tell her that Jar Jar Binks looks like a great character and you want to know more about him. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sure she'll fucking unmatch you then. <laughs> there we go. Well, she did say get on that. <laughs> That's right. Let's see. Absolutely nothing can go wrong with this plan. Yeah, I'm just saying, after going on that trip to Texas, my Tinder profile has moved up the ranks for sure. Cause I got like a, Evan took like a bunch of like really good looking photos of me. And it like makes me look actually a lot like a fucking like giant fat troll. So too bad she's gonna be really disappointed if she ever meets me in real life. That's besides the point. She's already been tricked at that point and that's all that I need. Because after that, I can use my amazing personality traits to 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 keep her from leaving me. Hopefully, amazing, amazing, amazing. personality traits. Like you know it. Being a fucking shut in. Being a fucking shut in. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do on the weekends? Play an watch anime. Like fuck. Watch like, I, anime, like I do all. Play games. Like I do every day of the week. <laughs> like what's up? You got top tier beard. I do. I gotta trim it up. It's a little. It's a little dirty right now. I, I I trimmed it up right before I went to Texas, and I haven't I haven't fixed it up since I came back. So it, it'll look better once I clean it up a little bit better. But I do got that top tier beard. Thank you, Lovejoy. You're a hero. You're the bro. And like Jeffrey here. I'm just kidding. I love you too, Jeffrey and Jeff. Oh, by the way, to be I was about to say. Jeffrey and which one of us is stuff? You are, you guys already know that. Jeffrey is Jeffrey, you're Jeff. Oh. I always call Jeffrey Jeffrey. Occasionally. I occasionally call him Jeff, but that's pretty rare. I mean, it, it, it always confuses me. <laughs> Good, that's the point. That's the point. Yo, my army of Jeffs is here, guys. I just like that the first time I found I'm out what just you're waiting for Jeff to, to actually join us, you know. He has to join the Discord. Oh yeah, Jeff too? I haven't yeah, talked to him in a bit. I wonder how he's doing. We were talking. We talked about him for a little bit while on the trip, but we didn't actually. I, I want to have another beautiful hug with him. We're gonna have to wait till next year. We'll see. I know. I know. It's disappointing. But yeah. Wait, where'd Storm go? Someone said, "All oh, poor Storm." Oh, sorry, Storms. What's the point of being a mod if Matt just ignores all my comments anyway? <laughs> Sorry, Storm. You're the exact same color as Maven, and I thought I had already read that. So I just kind of skimmed over it. I thought that was just Maven. You wish you could grow a beard, Maven? That's fair. Getting getting used to the beard took for a while, but now that I have a beard, I don't I don't want to ever lose it because I cut I cut off my beard like a, like a year ago. I, I cut it off just to see how I looked, and I was reminded like, oh my god, the beard... The beard definitely helps. Like, I look, I look like, like a my father. Yeah, I look like my brother. That's that was the thing. I was like, holy shit! I, me and my brother look identical without my beard. I look like a fatter version of my brother, which isn't a good sign. <laughs> How is your brother? Oh, he's he bought a gun today. Cause oh boy. He lives in the south. Yeah, he he's into so for my brother's an interesting individual. He recently got into skeet shooting, which is neat. Uh, apparently he's good at it. Uh, he thinks he's going to be an Olympian, which is interesting. <laughs> um, I have my doubts. That sounds about right. I have my doubts. I don't know if he's going to make it to the, to the Olympics next year, 
We'll see if he has to wait another four before he can make it. I mean, he just bought the gun, so... <laughs> It might be a little close. Uh, it might be a little close for him to make it this year. I'm making fun of him. I love my brother half of fucking death. I, I I support whatever he goes for. But he, uh, I think he thinks it's a lot easier than what it really is. <laughs> uh, you know, I didn't know all it took to be like an Olympian athlete was just a, to be halfway decent at something. Yeah, I don't know. And he's a good shot. He's always been a, a good, like, crack shot. But, like, I don't know, man. I've seen, I've seen not, not of, like, skeet shooters, but I've seen, like, Olympic, like, shooters before. <sighs> Those guys are fucking nuts. I watched this one guy, like, take, take, Tic Tacs. Like, f he fucking had six Tic Tacs and, like, a six-shooter revolver. And he threw the six Tic Tacs in the air, and he fucking shot them all before, like, they even were, like, before they even, like, dropped a full foot. From the air, out of the air, like it was ridiculous. I was like, I couldn't even see those things. It's just white people, man. They're nuts. Yeah. Anyway, I feel like I should talk. Maybe we should talk about the vacation. The vacation yeah, I took. Yeah, sure. Because I'm I'm out of ideas. I figured we'd talk about that a little bit during the stream. I just wasn't sure. If you guys didn't know, I went on vacation last week. I went to. Dallas, Texas. No, I did not catch COVID. I'm sorry. To be fair, I think I'm immune to COVID. Not immune. I think I have the antibodies to COVID right now because I'm pretty sure I caught COVID like a month ago because of a shoot I went on. So I wasn't too nervous to go out and about. Although I was also safe. I had my mask on and everything. For those of you who are, who are curious, I didn't want to didn't want to risk it for the biscuit per se. So uh, I went down to Dallas uh, to hang out with Hiding in Public. I don't know. If, I'm sure some of you guys know him. He's rated us before. Super chill dude. I got along with him way better than I was expecting. Like, I, I figured Hiding in Public and I would, like, vibe, like, okay. But, like, me and him, like, he's such a chill dude. He is such a cool guy to hang out with. We vibe super hard. He's just, like, someone who's just super easy to talk to and extremely friendly, extremely kind, and, like, always, like, trying his best to, like, be, like, a good host. Like, just, like, the sweetest person you can possibly imagine. And we also had Dakota Broski, who I actually didn't really know Dakota before that, but me and Dakota are bros now for sure. He is, like, the most charismatic individual I'd ever meet. I swear to God, he could pick up any fucking girl he could dream of. Dude, we went to, like, this one restaurant, and by the end of it, I feel like all he had to do was just ask the girl for, like, our waitress for the number, her number, and she would have given it to him in a heartbeat. He, like, smooth-talked this shit out of this girl like she was like drooling over dakota by the end of the night and he that's just like his casual conversational tone too by the way like he's just like he just talks like this to everybody but he's the most charismatic matic, like super upbeat and positive individual i have ever met like i wish i could steal his skills of talking it is just fucking incredible just finished work two hours late entertain me while i drive home hey beep it what's up man <laughs> yeah we'll do our best and of course, we got my boy. Ev I mean, I, y'all know Evan. We 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 chill. We know we, Evan and I know each other. I'm trying to think if we have any good stories I could actually tell in stream, because some of them, I mean, most of them don't really involve me per se. Uh, definitely can't tell a few of them, because oh, you should tell the uh, the story about going to the museum. Oh, that's a good one. That's that's one I can tell on stream. So we went to go pick up one of my friends. Uh, she was a uh, super cool who lives in Fort Worth and we were just going to go hang out with her for a bit. And so we go pick her up in Fort Worth. We were in Dallas, by the way. So it's like a 45 minute drive, go pick her up and we're trying to figure out something to do. And so we're like, Oh, let's go to a museum or something like that. And I saw a museum was about to close in like 30 minutes. I was like, let's just go fucking check it out. So we went and go check out this fucking museum. We walk in and it's like a really kind of fancy museum. There's no like, you don't have to pay money to go in. It was like completely free, which like kind of threw me off a little bit. So we're walking around and Dakota's like looking at the paintings and Dakota looks at one. And he goes, he's like, ha, who's this guy? I think he, he is Vince. Uh, what was it? Uh, a Van Gogh or something like, no, not Van Gogh. Uh, what's his name? What's the name of the artist? I'll try the, the, the artist who does all the weird square humans. Jackson Pollock. No, not Jackson Pollock. No. Uh, what is his name? Picasso. Picasso. Thank you. He's like, what does this guy think he is? Picasso or something like that? Thank you, chat. 
Picasso. Picasso. I'm glad everyone was like immediately like Picasso. So everyone's like, you know, he's like, okay, you know, what does this guy think he is? Oh, P- Picasso. I was like, I don't know. His name is Pablo. <laughs> and we looked and we're like, oh shit, it is an original Pablo Picasso. And then we started looking and there was like original Vincent Van Gogh's, original like, like, uh, fucking Monet's, original, like, like legit, like paintings I studied in high school kind of thing. And I just realized I looked down. And I'm sitting here wearing my Bitches Love Cannons t-shirt. And we're all like super underdressed. And I looked around and I saw like all the security like in suits and ties and everything. And everybody was all dressed up. And we looked like a bunch of little assholes because we were sitting there for like the first 30 minutes making fun of all the paintings. Because we didn't realize who they fucking were by. And... Yeah, we looked like complete fucking assholes. <laughs> and we were so... We just went to this place on, a, on like, a whim. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, my God. Like, we were there... Well, we were going to get cultured, but we didn't... We weren't dressed for the occasion, to say the least. We were all, like, in really stupid T-shirts, just looking like absolute pricks. Oh, that's great, though. I mean, it was... I mean, the museum was amazing. Like, truly amazing. For a free museum... It's like, I was like, oh, there's no way this should be free. But I guess it was just like a public museum. So it was really neat. Hey, Loxus, welcome back. How was your Valentine's Day? Still got that V card? (laughs) Yo, that's rude. That's rude. I did not get a V card from anybody today, unfortunately. Not a Valentine's Day card. I'm sure that's what you were referring to, right, Loxus? Of course. Of course. Loxus would not be referring to anything else. No, of course not. Of course no. not. Because this is a rated PG stream. Rated PG. That's why I drop the F bomb a lot of times. I'm, uh, I'm actually curious. You still got it or not? Nah? Uh, I don't know if I want to share that on stream. <laughs> if you join Discord, I will tell you. How about that? How about that, Loxus, oh. bruh? <laughs> Trying to get him in the Discord still, I see. Exactly. And I think Loxus is already in the Discord, I'm pretty sure. If you join chat, I'll tell him. Wait, but if he joins chat, you'd be saying it on stream, wouldn't you? Well, I mean, if he joins chat later, we'll talk about it. I just don't want to talk about it on stream, because that's that's personal. Okay? I don't want to <laughs> share that's that. That's personal, and I'm willing to fully share it on, on this. <laughs> you shared that one story about the convention with the thoughty? <laughs> Okay, well, think about it this way, Loxus. If you if I you think I could pull that off, and I was I still had my V card. D- just think about it. Do you think if, uh, someone with with that would be able to at least attempt to pull that off? I even though I failed, not my fault though, bastard, <laughs> fucking Sean. <laughs> oh, which reminds me, I haven't told Sean Happy Valentine's Day. One second. One second. Here, where's Sean? Here you go. Happy Valentine's Day, you virgin. <laughs> you can't say that word on stream, though. Can I not? There we go. Oh, <laughs> discriminatory. According to Twitch rules, it is apparently. Is <laughs> discriminating against people who are still virgins? <laughs> Lamo, your stream is not PG thirteen. Well, that's your fault, Loxus. Nah, but it was... Everything's uh, Lox's fault. It's always Lox's fault. fault. Wait, I thought it was Jeff's fault. I guess tonight we're going to make it Lox's fault. Oh, okay. With a mod like me, I'll I'll let anything through. I forgot I made Lox's a mod. I don't know why. You made like half of the call that <laughs> half of the the viewers in that Twitch stream. No, in that stream, I literally modded everybody. I was just like, "You're a mod. You're a mod. You're a mod. Congratulations, everybody's a mod." Now fight to the death. I feel like that's like the most appropriate way, though, isn't it? Yeah, that's the only way to go about it. Can't I mean, not just most... assign moderator to uh, people that you don't know and uh, <laughs> might not trust. <laughs> the inmates are running the, the asylum. Kerosene's kind of right though, but think about it, right? You know, if you have a bunch of inmates in the insane asylum running the insane asylum, they don't they won't think that they're in the insane asylum and they won't try to escape. It's perfect. That's that's what I do with Storm. 
Is that the truth about our police system? <laughs> nah, buddy, can't trust me. All I want is to get him finally start his OnlyFans. We didn't hit 100k subs, so sorry, Loxus, no OnlyFans. Maybe one day, maybe one day when I when I pertain to a popular. Per can't speak, dude. Peas are killing me right now. Pertain to a particular audience. There we go. Trust me. That's it. I just need to. I just need to make a. Was it? I think it was your idea. It's like I need to just make a grinder account, then promote my OnlyFans through my grinder account, and then, boom, solved. I mean, I'm in LA, so, I'm sure there will be lots I mean, of competition. You can, you can promote your Twitch through that, and your <laughs> YouTube channel through that. You can promote everything. <laughs> That's it, man. Maybe maybe instead of like having a funny meme on my my Twitch on my my Tinder account, I can just like have just links to my Twitch chat and everything. I mean, that's what most of the girls do. They all link their, like, freaking Instagrams and shit. I'm like, no, I'm not going to your Instagrams. <laughs> link your OnlyFans. A growler? What is growler? I haven't even heard of this one. Bears are popular. I've been told bears. I mean, I, I'm not kidding when I say I have been hit on by significantly more guys than I have been hit on by girls. Which, I mean, I guess makes sense, but... When I go to bars... Oh, to be fair, though... I did, I had one girl like randomly grind on me while I was at the bar in, in Dallas. Literally the first night we went out, we went drinking, we went to a bar and I like, it was literally our first bar. I hadn't had a single drink yet. This girl came up to me and started grinding on me. And I was like, ma'am, ma'am, I am way too sober for this right now. I need you to chill the fuck out. <laughs> and then she vanished. I don't know. She was cute, but. I was, uh, I was extremely sober, not to mention I didn't have a place I could, like, properly take her back to because we had other people staying at our apartment. I could take you back to her place, though. Wait, Growler is, like, grinder, but for bears? Wait, there's a specific app for bears? That's interesting. Wow. That, I mean, I'm learning all kinds of new things. There we go. I mean, I got it, man. I got the, I got the chest. I don't know if I can show it. I got the chest here, man. I got it. I got the arms too. I don't too. have chest hair. You don't have chest hair? See, I got like I just mean, like. I, I have some chest hair, but it's only like at the collar area. That's oh, it. Oh, really? Yeah. It's a shame, bro, dude. Yes, and it's so good. <laughs> Lots in, of my, in my case, it's like I, I've been hit on by both, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm just oblivious most of the time. <laughs> I just like to hit on Jeff because it's Oh Jeff. yeah. I got I got a free drink from a guy at a bar. <laughs> when I was in Dallas, I forgot about that. He really? offered to buy me a drink. I was like, yeah, bro, so like, let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna abuse that. He got me a royal flush, like a hero. I was like, yeah, man. Look it's a royal flush. Whatever subgreen so subgroup you can think of, there's probably a dating app for it. God, can you imagine how cringy an anime dating app would be? <laughs> Hold up. I mean, I Hold guarantee up. you potential, there's like furry dating potential app. Potential video idea. Let me let me let me just check. Is there an anime dating app? Because if there is, maybe that'll be like a good be stream. Called the squeeze. Let's see. Uh Play Store, where are you? Cuz that that is. There is. Luma, do, how do you even respond to that? Did he flirt? Oh, yeah, he was totally flirting with me. He, like, came up to me. He was like, because I was sitting at the bar because I was going to get a drink, and I was I was trying to decide with him. He came up and talked to me for a little bit. He was like, you want me to get you a drink? I'm like, yeah, sure. He's like, what do you want? I was like, uh, Royal Flush, I guess. He's like, oh, sweet. And I was like, thank you, bro. And then I think I think someone came. I think it was Evan. It might have been Evan or Hiding. I don't remember. Some of them kind of came and like, hey, Matt, what's up? I'm like, hey. And I just kind of walked off. He shot his shot. Major props. Uh, anime dating app. Oh, wow. There's actually like... Okay. It'll be called the Weeb Squeeze. That's all I want it to be called. There's one here named Obey Me. Yikes. I don't like this. Okay, no, no. It's anime dating sim. Forgive me. Oh. All right. What's this? Otaku... I just like anime chat, not really a dating app. Japan social dating chat with Japanese and Asians. <laughs> yeah, 
get help them get their green cards. That's kind of that's not I'm not I'm not I'm not looking for Asian women. I'm just looking for like weeb weeb dating app. I don't think there's a weeb dating app, guys. There is a need. And Phil, I could there open up is... a new dating app called Weeb Squeeze. Oh my god, that's it, dude. Dude, you could probably make a ton of money if you make a weeb dating app. Real talk. Yo, that's a million dollar idea. Just think about that, a weeb dating it's app. It's like the idea of a dating app called the Weeb Squeeze. All right, here we go, guys. Furry dating app. God, I really don't want this on my phone history. Literally, first recommendation, Loxus Howler. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at this. Look at, one second. Look at the fucking screenshot. It's just a bunch of people in the first house. <laughs> Uh, only 50,000 plus downloads. So there's not too many. And a 2.7 rating. Ooh, not popular. I mean, we're talking about a niche community. So. That, is, that is true. Yep. I mean, you want to know what the actual furry dating app is? What is it? Second Life. <laughs> You're right. You're right, it is. <laughs> You're right, it is. All right. So, so guys, anime dating app. Twitter is the official dating furry dating app. I love Howler. Oh, Otaku bo Booty. That's good. That's good. That's it, man. Yo, I love these remixes. Let's go. Sorry, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I'm just like jamming out to anime OPs right now. Oh, a Taku booty? Oh, it's a real one? All right, let's look it up. Maven Maven has one. Let's see. Otaku booty. Is it in the app story? Uh, don't I don't see it. <laughs> a polyamorous dating app. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Matches with people for sex positive open relationships, BDSM, and poly polyamory. Okay. Uh, hashtag not my kink, but you, you do you. Yeah, you do you, man. As long as as long as everybody is consenting and over the age of eighteen. <laughs> especially that last part. Yes, especially that last. Well, especially both parts, actually. Let's <laughs> 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 not specify one or the other. Both. Please. It's not a multiple choice question, guys. Looks like it's defunct. Oh, damn. Well, that's it, guys. If y'all want to be a quick millionaire, y'all have to give me some, some, like, I'm 5% I'm of profits or something like that. Uh, but that's it, man. You want to make a ton of money? Make an anime dating app, bro. That's it. Oh, didn't, didn't Faku used to have a dating app for a bit? I remember that. I think I actually made a video on it with the Faku, the Faku dating app thing. I just, I just went on there and fucked with bears the entire time, I think. Because I'm a bad turf. I'm a bad person. I'm sorry. Honestly, e Met has so many gay dudes on there and so many of them are furries. Hmm. That's interesting, Loxus. Let's take a quick look-see, huh? Let's, let's let's check on the let's check on the actual dating websites. They're dating websites. My otaku. What's my otaku? Okay, this it looks cringy as shit, but it looks like it does exist. I I love how eighty percent of the people's like recommended profiles are just fucking pictures of anime characters like. Like, I'm going to fall for a guy who's just wearing a fucking Kabuto goddamn shirt. What the hell? Oh, yeah, a guy who's wearing a Kirito outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting take, but yeah. I don't know if that would be fun, or I bet you this website's probably just dead, most likely. So you're just, oh, like, getting really free hot. drinks from, from bears? I got... No, no, no. There was only one drink. It was only one drink. He was nice. Like we talked for a little bit. Like we talked for like two or three minutes. I think I just talked about anime. 
I remember. I was pretty buzzed. <laughs> I wasn't exactly sober at the moment. I mean, I think even sober me would have still accepted the drink, though. Found another that should be in the app store called Kosu. Okay, let's see. Maven's Maven's on the prowl right now. Let's let's check out Kosu. K O S U. Oh, oh, this one. This one appeared. Kosu Radio Station, Oklahoma. What? Kosu. I don't know. I don't see it in the app store. Fall for a guy, W. God, I'm so jealous. I wish it could happen to me. Can't wait for the COVID shit to end and go back to bars. Yeah, I mean, it was a little dangerous for us to be at the bars, to be honest, but... I've never been to a bar. They're fun and right company, right? I definitely recommend if you've never been to a bar, make sure you bring a friend who like who's a regular, who knows, who knows how to do like bar culture, stuff like that. Because luckily for us, Dakota was that guy. Dakota knew what he was doing at the bars, and he made it so much more fun. I feel like if I'd just gone there by myself, I would've gotten like a drink, got bored, sat down, did nothing. Instead, we had drinks. We were like doing arm wrestling shit. We were just having fun. It was it was a good night. But that's because Dakota was like the guy who like knew what he was doing and was teaching us. Like, okay, so you do this. You're supposed to tip this much. You know, make sure you put a tab down and stuff like that. You tip more than Bernie. You tip more than Bernie. Yeah, but real talk though, I can't wait for COVID to be over too because it su kind of <laughs> sucks. Not gonna lie. Because I would, because I would like to go out to like some LA bars before I, before I leave because I don't have. I mean, I don't. I haven't gotten to go to an LA bar yet because every time I, it's literally the, the second I moved into like LA into the city is when COVID started. So, didn't really you're leaving LA. Uh, no, not yet. We'll see. There's, there's it's, though. Yeah, it's like it's in the air right now. We're, we're there's talk. We'll leave it at that for now, because I don't want to. Jeff could move in together. Oh my! No, <laughs> I'm not going to Miami. <laughs> no, we're looking at Texas. That's that's the main reason we went to Texas originally was to look around and just see see how we feel about the state and if we like it or not or stuff like that. That's that's the maybe we'll see. As of right now, we're just kind of up in the air with the situation, the situations. I find it funny that I could find an anime, but I could find a furry dating app on my phone, but I couldn't find an anime dating app. That's kind of surprising. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm looking wrong. Maybe otaku dating? Maybe I'm just using the wrong keywords. Hentai. Hentai. Hentai Weeb. dating. <laughs> otaku dating app. Yeah, it just keeps showing up with Iris. What, what is Iris? I've never heard of this dating app before. I bet there are general uh, nerd dating apps, like including anime and stuff like that. Maybe, let's check. Let's check, shall we? I mean, I'm in LA, like you would think. Nerd dating app. Oh, here it is. Geek dating. You're right. Oh, there's multiple ones. Only 50,000 downloads, though. That's not many. 50, 50, 1K. Oh, there's, there's curvy dating. Meet curvy singles. <laughs> it's such... It's, date, dating apps are such a weird genre don't you think like it's just such yeah. a it's weird that there's like specific apps for each kind of i want to call it fetish but like yeah fetish like it's kind of what they are though like there is literally a jap japan social dating and chat chat app like where you <laughs> go for <laughs> Asians, which is a little weird. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about an app dividing its user base into racial categories, but you know, I guess I don't know. I don't know. All right, Karis. I, I want an app that 
divides them into name categories so I can date other people named Jeff. <laughs> That's it. There you go. Geek to geek. Find your geek match. I love how it's like geek to geek and it just shows a, like a, a, a slot of eight fairly attractive individuals who are clearly not nerds. <laughs> like, okay, maybe one guy. This one guy looks like a nerd, but everybody else looks like they're pretty, uh, pretty normal individuals. J-Date has been around forever. Oh, really? It's kind of unusual. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I get it, but like still. I would feel I would feel very weird downloading that app and like <laughs> well that's because I mean there there's certain groups that are self isolationists and Jewish people are self isolating. Mm. Yeah, it's just I don't know. Especially it's... if they're Hasidic cuz hmm. then they'll just like move into an area and then more Hasidics will buy up every house in that area. They just don't like to mix with people, which is just kind of fucking weird, but... I guess. And fetish shit makes, like, complete sense. Yeah, well, I get that. Like, right, you know, if you got a fetish, like, might as well go after it. Like, you know, explore it, as long as it's legal. Like, like I mean... I, like I don't want to, I don't want to kink shame anyone. That's why I'm kind of careful about what I say about Radio Healer, because it is. I mean, I don't want to say it's in good taste, but it's 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 not handled horribly. <laughs> it's just also like not my my fetish. So like I'm trying not to be to be biased, right? It's like the whole thing with what's the name of that one one anime? Anime, forgive me, hentai. Uh, Euphoria, right? I watched Euphoria. For me, that is just nope. That is that is too much for me. But it's not the one with the egg. With the egg? I don't know. No, I don't think so. Okay. But um, you know, some people, some people are into that, and you know, as long as you're not hurting anybody. I mean, it's literally animation, so like, literally, people just do it. Like, it's like no one got hurt in the making of that show. Hopefully, unless someone got like a paper cut. But, you know, you know, you know, everybody has their thing. Like, for me, yo, I'm just saying, tomboy, muscly girls, if any of you are in the chat, DM me, okay? We'll work something out. That's all, that's all I got to say. Tomboy or muscly girl or both. You can, one, one or the other is fine, but if you're both, for the love of God, please message me. <laughs> please message me. Yo, that's my thing, though, man. I, I love no, not tomboy muscly boy <laughs> that defeats the purpose of them being a tomboy man. Oh, come on, he can, he, he works. Mm. I'm it's sure there's a bodybuilder dating app where you can find cute girls who lift. Yo, maybe that's it. <laughs> Go for a bodybuilder website. Yo, lifting no, app. there was a meme someone sent me a while back where it's like this Japanese body lifter like bodybuilder girl and she was like she was like looking for a boyfriend and, you know i can protect you and i was like god if i spoke japanese i would dm that girl so quick i was like please i don't want to date someone with my fetish i want someone who will tolerate it that's an interesting take i love muscly girls thank you maven welcome to the club welcome to the club i'm glad you know the way you have learned the power. I like of my girls to be guys. sane and living. I don't like to, them to be insane, and I don't. Uh, and I, I, I prefer living. Yeah, <laughs> well, you said prefer. Like, I'll deal with it if she's dead, but I'd rather if she weren't. Al were, you know, rather if she were alive. Interesting. Requirement: yeah. She has to be sane, though. <laughs> my friend is a power lifter and works for uh, a workout training company. Holy shit, he's got the plug with the hottest piece people possible. <laughs> that's it man i mean just working in like that kind of field definitely probably puts you around a lot of attractive people i guess one of the things is like when i've worked on set and there's like all these actors and they're all just like drop dead gorgeous it's kind of like it's a little it's a little it's a little weird it's a little, little shaky if they can toss an axe and have it embedded in a tree just marry me already <laughs> 
I'm glad Maven is on my, my team with this one. I'm glad we're sitting here talking about our, our fetishes. I think, I think that's how we get to know each other better. I thought we got to know each other better over a bottle of Jack Daniels. That also works. But usually, usually that's just there to lube up the fetish talk. Honestly. Just all of our amazing fetishes. Like, like clearly, Storm has a huge fetish for feet. I don't understand why, but that's oh, his thing. Storm, he has that weird yeah. foot fetish. Oh. oh. That's, not oh. The, that's not the one I thought he had. Haha, <laughs> don't say, oh yeah, <laughs> you're talking... <laughs> No, I make Alabama jokes, bro. Of course, forgive me. <laughs> Don't say that. You're definitely the most handsome person on set. They probably mistake you for one of the actors. Thank you. If I if I worked out, I would be better. I'm gonna start trying to work out more, but but I'm bad. I'm lazy. Also, the gems literally just opened up, and I'm still a little sketch about them. Yeah, Nani yeah. has returned. You can, I mean, you can exercise without having to go to a gym, though, Matt. I know I can, but here's the thing. That requires self-discipline. And Jeffrey, you know me well enough that I don't really have any of that. Yeah, but you just gotta force yourself. <laughs> That's self-discipline. You have enough yeah. self-discipline to get to your level in Mavi. Over how many years? I have the oldest account out of all of us except for Lola. Oh. <laughs> and you can just exercise without, you know, just do 15 push-ups right now. No, my room's a yep, wreck right it, now. Do it, do it, Matt. Do my it. room's a genuine wreck right now. I don't think I can clear out a space behind me. Thing. Too bad. Push a lot it of aside, streamers. Matt. A, a lot of streamers. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of streamers. What they'll do is they'll make their channel points used for like making them do squats, ab crunches, push-ups, stuff like that. Y'all will make me stop streaming completely if we do that. Yo, shit. I can, I can do that. I can. Matt, tall, muscly girl, or average short. What do you, what kind, Maven, what kind of question is that? That's such an easy one. Tall and muscly girl. Every day of the week. Are you kidding me? Yo, if, if, if Do you want her to be taller than you, though? Yes. Oh, my God, yes. Sorry, this is weird. You're learning too much about me. But if I can look up to my girlfriend and know she can beat up my bullies, that's, that's perfect. That's all I need to know. All right, Matt. We're, we're going to make you actually have to work out. So uh... <laughs> You're changing all the channel point settings and stuff like that. <laughs> <I'm going to. laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead, man. Just make them reasonable, please. For the love of God, make them reasonable. I remember one time I did uh, in college, I was at work and we did a bet to see who could do the most push-ups. Got to like go home from work early. And so my boss said, you got to do at least 200 push-ups. And I sat there and I did 200 push-ups over the entire shift and got out super early. <laughs> one, one, one. Oh. <laughs> How many squats is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can't do that many squats. We'll do we'll do five squats. How about that? Five squats? That's like that's like ten bits. Alright, come on. One second. Let me clear out some space so I don't fucking break everything. Y'all gonna see how fat I am. At least I at least I wore shorts during this stream. Let's see. <laughs> what the fuck is five squats? Seven? Alright, seven. We'll do seven squats. Alright, we'll do we'll do it from the side. How's that? Y'all are just gonna stare at my feet, is that okay? Alright. I know Storm's gonna love the feet, okay? Wait, one second, let me sure I'm gonna like there we go, Storm. That's for you, buddy. Wait, okay, I'll see. I can turn around and do squats. It's like... Hey, Jeff. Yeah? I just realized. Seven. All right, that's seven squats. With Wiki feet. <laughs> that's about as low as your boy can go. <laughs> Nani's doing squats just... with me, too, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> we we just saw your feet. Yo, that's it. I, well, I was given I was given Stormer present, man. Yeah, I know. It's time to go on Wiki Feet now. <laughs> I'm already on Wiki Feet. Too late for you, fam. Proud of you, <laughs> Maddie. <laughs> it's possible. I know people were talking about putting me on Wiki Feet or some shit. 
I got those furry feet, bro. People love it. See? But can I get in trouble with this? If I show my feet on stream? I, I wouldn't, don't know. I wouldn't put You're it past it Twitch. I wouldn't put You're it past Twitch. Because I was going to pull it up and be like, here, I'll show you my feet close up. And I was like, I don't know. I might get in trouble with that. <laughs> like, genuinely. <laughs> All right, Storm's not in chat, so I think we're good. Okay. So, like, there you go, guys. I'm not that flexible. There's the feet pics, guys. Everybody was so desperate for back in the day. You need to work on that flexibility. Yeah, I've always been a very inflexible person, both physically and mentally. <laughs> oh, no. No trouble, you were maximizing, you were uh, exercising. Look, look, I've did I see a guy show his nipple on stream. I know we can get in trouble for that, for a fact. I'm pretty sure you can get banned for that. Because they were like, just what? no nipples in general. Oh. Because people were complaining that guys could be like shirtless, but girls couldn't be. And so they're like, okay, uh. well, now guys can't be shirtless either. I'm like, oh, fuck. That was not the intended idea, guys. At least they're consistent. Yeah, exactly. That was the thing. Everybody was complaining with the hopes that Twitch was going to be like, okay, I guess nipples are allowed on the stream. But then Twitch was like, okay, guys can get banned for it too now. It's like, well, shit, guys. You ruined it for everybody. Dude, I wonder how weird it would be to do like a shirtless stream and just have random people from my YouTube channel click over and just see me fucking shirtless. <laughs> Just tasty. scar a bunch of people. I think there's, I think there's limits. I think they'll still get mad at you if you do shit like that. No, because I've seen painting streams where the girls who got pasties on and then she's painting her tits and such on stream, and they they allow that. That's impressive. I'm kind of surprised. Loxus is getting aroused right now. I mean, that's that's the whole point. We're always here to try to arouse Loxus. That's our goal. Wear a crop top. Wait. That'll be fine. Well, hopefully, actually, ooh, let's check that real quick. When is my goddamn Klee cosplay coming in? The cosplay is Klee. Yo, I bought this cosplay <laughs> yes, like cosplay. like forever <laughs> ago. It's all like custom fitted and everything. It's supposed to. It's 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 gonna probably look pretty damn good. Cause I want to look good as Klee. Cause here's my my goal, right? If I can at least get myself to not look like fucking fat and like look kind of a little bit more like in shape. But uh what was I gonna say? I wanna like go to a convention with like like an uh like my eyes crossed out and like like fucking like battleborn almost like tattoos and shit like that all over my face and be like I am like C6 Klee. <laughs> like I am like battle hardened Klee. I could go as Chi Chi, you could go as Klee. It'd be perfect. Jeff could go as Venti. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me check my orders. <gasps> the bag! Jeff. Yes! They got the bag in. Oh, God bless. Let me see how the bag looks. They send you, like, an actual picture of it. I, I want to see Jeff in a Klee costume. Or, not Klee, a uh, Venti costume. And not the normal Venti, the, the special Venti. Yo, it looks so good! Oh, it's like, I, I gotta show this this stream. This actually looks like it, it's a good cosplay. I mean, it's the, it costs like 45, 50 bucks, so. <laughs> I just realized you guys can't hear me while I'm over there. One second, let me, let me see if I can make this stream. Yeah, it's still smaller than your whole browser. How's that? Okay, there you go. Now you guys can hear me. Sorry, I had to modify yeah. that real quick. Look how look how good this looks. This looks hella cute. Like it looks like it's gonna be pretty nice. You can see all like the, the they got the little handmade thing. All this shit's supposed to be handmade. It's like by like a like a actual artist. Which is probably why it took so goddamn long for them to get it sent out. 
I cannot wait to get this bag in, yo. I cannot wait to be fucking clean. Did you order it? Hmm? Yeah, this is yeah, this is literally mine. Ago. This is literally mine. I like this is they send you a picture to confirm that this is the right item that you wanted. Which I have to confirm and say yes it is. God bless. I kind of want one. Let me see. Let me check something real quick, guys. I wanna make sure I doesn't show my address on here before I pull it up. Oh it does. Anyway. I'm gonna dip. Ah. I'm sorry, Jess. I'm sorry, Matt. Rip Jess. Bye. See you guys. All right, see ya. See ya. Okay. Oh, well, I can't share that. Should I pull somebody else in here? Uh, sure, go ahead. All right. Who wants uh, Who wants to be brought in? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, my girl. You just cut me off in a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey's mean, Perfect. bro. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. Or hello, hello. Yep. Am I getting accessories with it? Okay, so yeah, for the cosplay, it's- I'm it's... sorry, Maven, they bra they dragged me in here. <laughs> you know what you should do? You should bring in Maven. You should bring in Maven. Uh, yeah, go ahead I and bring in Maven. I love you, Maven. All right. But uh, yeah, the cosplay is, I have the wig. The wig's already in. <laughs> uh, I got the outfit and then I have a handmade bag to go with it. Maven, a please bag. I love you. I don't have her boots because I don't, Want to spend the money on her boots, especially considering how easy they are to make, because they're pretty, pretty fucking simple. And so I was like, I'll just build the boots myself. <laughs> and then the storm immediately jumps back on the street. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> storm. Taken from him. Yo, we were shit talking <laughs> storm the entire time. Poor thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> make sure everything's storm's all. Storm's all by himself over there now. All Rip. by myself. I'm sorry, storm. Sorry, storm. Where is the other one? Here it is. I was looking for my actual chat. Wait, <laughs> Black right? Storm, everyone. <laughs> Am I the only one with a Valentine today? Yes. In the, in the call? Uh, I think so, unless Maven has somebody. Do you have somebody, Maven? Do you have a Valentine? <laughs> so it's just Nani. I can tell you about what my mom got, because it was really cute. What, what did she get? That's pretty. That's mm -hmm. that's real sweet. I'm jealous. I, I got nothing. A, I am a <laughs> dice goblin. I want all the shiny math rocks. <laughs> have you? Do you ever have gotten like metal dice before? <gasps> yes, and that includes like things that are just shiny. And Fair rocks. enough. I'm trying to think. Do we have what else do we have to talk about today? I do um, want to stream for a little bit longer, like an hour and a half. I think is our goal. Before we before we raid the boys. How's everybody's day been? Sorry, go ahead, Maven. I did have a suggestion for something we could do in the Discord. Ooh. I've mentioned a few times. Oh, the the one shot. It's... No, not that. Um, there's a mod for. I mentioned the 14th, Matt, about mm -hmm. Stardew having the update, and on PC there is a mod that you can get so you can have more than four people, and it would be a cool thing. Have everybody, like people in the Discord, be able to have a um, server together for Stardew where we can all farm together so Ooh. that you guys can do the mining for me because I am scared of going to the mines because there are monsters there and it's scary. <laughs> yeah, do I well, have Stardew Valley? I think we can do I that. Don't know if I, have... I, I, I love Stardew Valley. Have... Yeah, for sure. This I just gotta remember to actually like set it up. That's my problem, which is always the, <laughs> the part I struggle with the most, frankly. Metal dice hurt my ears. Well, you're supposed to have like a special like a board to throw them on. A dice tray. Yeah, a dice tray. And it'll you... kind of like cushion it. Okay, <laughs> Storm, you did not trade us, okay? Like yeah, we were taken against our will. We had stolen them. <laughs> this is the power that comes you know, with not being a mod but being an admin. You, you know, you know what's funny? Hmm. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my yes, god! For those of you who don't, for those of you in the stream, he just basically stole the other two in front oh, of him. <laughs> 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 
One second. I'm 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 I am bringing pity along, Storm. We're all in the stream call so now. So what happened was Storm was saying in the uh, in the chat in the stream chat. He's like, I traded Naughty and Maven for Jeff and Selena, and I'm like, let me fix that real quick. So I dragged you both in here and left them there. Oh my gosh. It was. That was fantastic. Beautiful. That was great. Oh, that was kudos, kudos to Jeff. Thank kudos you. Kudos to Jeff. Jeff is like the ultimate flexor. He gets some nap of approval. All right, I'm trying to think. Is there? I don't know. I think I think this is like a good place to call it for the stream for the night. Is this like a first stream to like kind of get reacquainted, get back get back into the zone of actually talking and also making sure all my setup works still, which it does, which is good. Um, uh, yeah. So. Oh. We are going to raid a good friend of mine. Ooh. I we thought I was going to show off my flexibility. Tell him. Foxes, just join us in chat. Tell him happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's what? Day. Well, happy yeah. Valentine's Day, everybody else. Happy Singles chat. Awareness Day. Happy, yeah, happy it's Singles, not singles day. Awareness Day. How are you not like flexible Why enough to like lift your leg up like this high? I'm not that I don't stream. think I can try. Oh wait, no, I can't do that. I, I just I, I, I can't do that anymore. Tell tell uh, Jerry and I said happy Valentine's Day. Peace, peace. Bye. I can't lift them over my head. Yeah, I'm not saying you can see a line, but every I can time definitely you, every lift time my lift my.